We have two weather words today, wet and windy. And that's what's going to be taking place throughout the day. So as you're walking out the door, make sure you grab an umbrella because you will need it at some point today. We're going to be seeing showers and the possibility of thunderstorms all day long. So the rains are coming in from the east coast. There are a lot more showers on the maps now. And we're starting to see some lighter rains already holding together very well. And we're already starting to see them moving in over portions of central Sarasota County, uh, beginning to affect parts of Venice as well. So so we're going to be watching these showers coming on in throughout the day and we, the reason for it is because we do have this area just off the coast of Miami. We've been talking about it for days but now it's starting to make more of a westerly turn and so we're starting to get the bands coming on in from that storm and that's what's taking place and creating the rains that we're getting and in the meantime of course we have our tropical depression down to the south and it's going to be moving across parts of Nicaragua and Honduras and it is going to be moving into the Gulf of Mexico and will probably become Tropical Storm Nate later on this afternoon. This system is moving towards the west. We're going to continue to watch it move. That's what's going to bring us plenty of rainfall over today and into tomorrow as well. And in the meantime, what will become Tropical Storm Nate, now Tropical Depression number 16, is eventually going to be moving into the Gulf of Mexico over the next couple of days. By Sunday, we do expect that it's going to be making landfall and right now we believe it's going to be somewhere from the panhandle westward and so into New Orleans area Louisiana and then eventually move on up into the Tennessee Valley we will be on the east side of this system so we will be getting wind and rain as a result of that but, it, but we're not expecting a direct hit right now what we are looking at is that the system is eventually going to have some interaction with the land so it's going to take a little bit of time for it to become a tropical storm, but it will become one, and then once it moves into the Gulf of Mexico, Hurricane Nate is very likely what we're going to be talking about. The spaghetti models are taking it right up to the um, east of the Yucatan Peninsula, right into the Gulf, and then eventually it appears as though it is going to be moving across Louisiana, maybe the panhandle of Florida, depending on how strong the high pressure system is over the Bahamas, will depend on the track it's going to be taking. So this is a wait and see system. This is something we have to check out every day because every day we're going to get more information about this storm and the track it's taking. In the meantime, today breezy and we are looking at wet weather all the way through Sunday. Temperature highs will be in the upper 80s. Ray?